Today, we celebrate God's greatest gift, Jesus Christ. He did not come into this world in a grand and a spectacular way, no. He was born to an assuming woman in a humble stable in an unfamiliar town after a long and difficult journey. But soon the skies filled with angels from heaven announcing the glad tidings to the shepherds in the fields. We're, we are those shepherds now, coming together in joy and wonder and expectation to worship our newborn king. The intentions of this mass are for th the thanksgiving of the Old Page Children's Choir on their first anniversary, Catherine Megadudin and Maverick Gusta for the gift of life, Patrick and Cecil Savosa and family, and Layla Ellerin, special attention for healing, uh, special attention for Alexis C and for healing of Janelle Hodo. For the repose of the souls of Sylvia C. Garcia, Illuminado, and Josefina Ernesto. Please stand and take a moment to greet the people around you before we begin our celebration. To celebrate this Holy Eucharist with us today is Father Marvin Felipe. And please join us in singing our gathering hymn, hymn number 99, O Come All Ye Faithful.
God's love for all of us is the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers coming together as God's family on this Christmas day, let us ask the Lord to purify us from our past sins, that we may become worthy to stand in His presence. Lord Jesus, you came to reveal us the love of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to bring peace to the world. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to console those who are afflicted and rejected. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
A reading from the second book of Samuel. When King David was settled in his palace, and the Lord had given him rest from his enemies on every side, he said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am, living in a house of cedar, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, Go, do whatever you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that night the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, Thus says the Lord, Should you build me a house to dwell in? It was I who took you from the pasture and from the care of the flock to be commander of my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you went, and I have destroyed all your enemies before you. And Um, a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. For Zion's sake, I will not be silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not be quiet. Until her vindication shines forth like the dawn and her victory like a burning torch. Nations shall, hold, shall behold your vindication and all the kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem held by your God. No more people shall call you forsaken or your land desolate, but you shall be called my delight and your land espoused. For the Lord delights in you and makes your land his spouse. As a young man marries a virgin, your builder shall marry you. And as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. The word of the Lord. covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant, forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Blessed the people who know the joyful shout. In the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name, they rejoice all the day. And through your justice, they are exalted. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. He shall say of me, you are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul reached Antioch in Pisidia and entered the synagogue, he stood up, motioned with his hand, and said, Fellow Israelites, Israelites, and you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of this people, Israel, choose our ancestors and exalted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arm, he led them out of it. Then he removed Saul and raised up David as king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a savior, a savior 
Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. The word of the Lord. destroyed. The savior of the world will reign over us. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said to the prophet. Behold, the virgins shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. He had no relations with her until she bore a son and he named him Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Very good. Okay. Have you heard about 
Christmas magic. Christmas magic. You always hear that. Okay? But I will tell you what Christmas magic is. But before that, I will show you magic. You want magic? Okay, look. I want you to watch carefully. You need to use your eyes. Well, so that you know I'm not making, you know, tricks. This is real magic. Okay? So watch. Okay, watch. Watch carefully. Okay? Don't wink, otherwise you will miss the, the magic. Okay? Just focus, okay? Focus and watch. See this? What is this? <laughs> okay? Watch, okay? Okay? I'm going to show you magic. So open wide your eyes so that you will see you know, very clearly that this is really magic. Watch. Okay. Are you ready for the magic? Watch, 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 watch. Okay, let count one, two, three. One, two, three. Watch. See? Almighty 
and all powerful God came into this world to become an ordinary man. Jesus is with God from the beginning. His word of God made flesh. Jesus Christ is God. And yet, as we look at the tender, helpless baby lying in a manger, we must ponder and keep pondering. Is this a reality? That divinity took humanity? Yes. We ponder on this great mystery. And if we, are, we were asked to why, then we enter deeper into the mystery of God's love for us. Yes, God, that is God's great love for us. Okay? I will sit with you. Okay? Because I'm tired also. <laughs> God, that God is great, God's great love for us, that Jesus came into the world, that He came for us, that He came for you, and He came for me. Okay? Yes? Yes? Jesus is the divine light. That's why there's a star. Okay? And He shines His light on us so that we can see the darkness of our brokenness, our woundedness, and our sinfulness. Jesus is also the divine life. And He wants to raise us up to a life of happiness. Who wants to be happy here? Of course, you all want to be happy. So, to raise us to be happy, to be kind, and to be forgiving. So, deep in our hearts, we long for that light. We yearn for that light. That's why Jesus came. He came for you and me to fulfill that longing and yearning. Yes, today we go back in time to Bethlehem to look at this baby, the infant king of kings and lord of lords. But Jesus also comes to us as our healer and savior with his warm light and tender love. So let us celebrate the birth of Jesus by offering ourselves as gifts. Okay? Because tonight you'll be, all, you'll be opening your gifts. But what is your gift to Jesus? Your heart. Your heart will be your gift to Jesus. Jesus wants us to be gifts also to others. Gifts of happiness. Gifts of kindness. Gifts of forgiveness. That is the wonderful mystery of Christmas. That is the magic of Christmas. That is also why Jesus came to us. That is why He came for you and me. Who will open gifts tonight? Are you going to open your gifts tonight? Okay. When you open your gifts tonight, okay, think also what gift can I offer to the baby Jesus? And what's the best gift? Heart. Okay? Your heart, your clean heart. Ask Jesus today to enter to you, into your heart and to fill your heart with His Spirit so that this Christmas day, Jesus will make your heart His new manger and you will be the one to give one to the baby Jesus. God bless you all. Amen. That's the Christmas magic. Okay? You can go back to your seats now. Let's give a big hand to baby Jesus.
once we reach the, the line, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnated to the Virgin Mary and became man, we will pause and we will all kneel down. Okay? I believe in one God, the Father of God, maker of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, the Son of God, born the Father of all God in Jesus, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten God of me, and was the resurrection of the Father, through him all Jesus reign, for us men for our salvation. He came down from heaven. This one here. Do we have lights? And by the Holy Spirit, was he incarnated to the virtue Mary and the King of Man. Please stand. For our sake, he was crucified and the body is found. He suffered death and was buried. And rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And let us be now to that no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the Giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adorned and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess what God to sing for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On this joyous day, we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, God with us. Assured of God's closeness to us, we turn to God with our needs and the needs of the world. For the church, though it may be the light to the world in the way we proclaim by word and deed, the gospel message of our Lord, Emmanuel. Let us pray to the Lord. For all nations, that they may lay down their arms and work tirelessly to build a world that is forever peaceful, following the example of the Prince of Peace. Let us pray to the Lord. For migrants, refugees, outcasts, and all those who are homeless, that they may never be told that there is no room for them in the inn. Let us pray to the Lord. For those whom this time of year is difficult due to grief, stress, or family tension, that they may find comfort in the knowledge that God remains with us through all our hardships. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us, our families, our friends, and our neighbors, that this holy season of Christmas may be filled with love, joy, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the attentions of this Mass, Thanksgiving of the Old Pace Children's Choir on their first anniversary, Catherine Regadin and Maverick Vusta for the gift of life, Patrick and Chishel Savosa and family, and Layla Ellerin. Special attention for healing of Alexis C., and for healing of Janelle Holdo, for the repose of the souls of Sylvia C. Garcia and Illuminado and Josefina Ernesto. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our attentions, spoken and unspoken. Let us pray to the Lord. God of every nation and people, from the very beginning of creation, you have ma made manifest your love. When our need for a Savior was great, you sent your Son to be born of the Virgin Mary. To our lives, He brings joy and peace, justice, mercy, and love. Lord, bless all who look upon this manger. May remind us of the humble birth of Jesus and raise up our thoughts to him, who is God with us and Savior of all, and lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Love this. 
Please join us in singing our off, off, offertory hymn, hymn seven six away in a manger.
my dear friends, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifices that you have. We praise the Lord in this name. We are good and bigger of all As we look forward, O Lord, to the coming festivities, may we serve you all the more eagerly for knowing that in them you make manifest the beginnings of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for in the mystery of your word made flesh a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind so that as we recognize in him god made visible we may caught up through him in love of things invisible and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. the most holy for you are great and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love you formed man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care so that in serving you alone the creator he might have dominion over all creatures and when through disobedience he had lost your friendship you did not abandon him to the domain of death for you came in mercy to the aid of all so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offer them covenants and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so love the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves but for him who died and rose again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up 
for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which should be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we wait for his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice, that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom you offer this sacrifice, especially your servant, Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops for the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of Christ and all the dead, whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your apostles and saints in your kingdom, there, with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. To him, to him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, Now I would like to call all the children to please come up on the altar and join me as we pray to our Father. With all children, please come up here on the altar. Up here, stay around the, the altar to be closer to Jesus. Those in front, those in front, can you, can you, please, uh, stay on my side here. Uh, here. You will pray our Father facing the people. Uh, two hands. Okay, let's go on hands. Uh, 
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Children, you may now go to your parents and kiss and hug your parents. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Okay? Go to your parents and kiss and hug your parents. away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Our communion hymn is hymn number 81, Silent Night. Song number 112, The First Noel.
announcements. The second collection today is for our church maintenance. Thank you for your generosity. Come build with us and join us on our next Marian pilgrimage tour to Croatia, Italy, France, and Spain this coming fall 2024 with Father Augusto Viote, our spiritual director. This tour includes visits to Fatima, Lourdes, Medjugorje, Loreto, and the footsteps of the saints, Padre Pio, and St. Francis of Assisi. This pilgrimage will also benefit our parking lot project. For more information, you may contact our parish office. And on behalf of Our Lady Perpetual Help Church, we'd like to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas. Thank you. Grant the Lord, we pray, that we may draw no river from celebrating the nativity of your only begotten Son, by whose seven mystery we receive both food and drink, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, the Be our protection against the wickedness of the May God be with you and with you. And be thou the prince of heaven and the For the power of God cast into our spirits. All the evil spirits are the heart of our heart. Seeking the will of the souls. Amen. To all our liturgical ministers, our altar servers, extra ordinary ministers of Holy Communion, our four ushers, our candles in charge, our lectors and commentator, our pianist, projectors in charge, our cantor, music director, and our choir. To them, we say thank you for your service this evening. <laughs> celebrating the Christmas Mass with me. To all our visitors, we're happy to have you in our Mass this evening. Know that you are always welcome here at Our Lady of Perpetual Health Church. After the Mass, there will be dinner served at your home. <laughs> our last act for tonight, we will have special blessing to all the children. The children come forward with the major. We will give you special blessing. The blessing of the baby Jesus. Of it 
little children, you have fashioned a hymn of praise. Look with kindness on these children, whom the faith of the church commends to your tender care. Your son, born the Virgin Mary, gladly welcomed little children. He took them in his arms, blessed them, and held them up as an example for all. We pray that you, Father, will also send your blessing on them so that they will grow in Christian maturity and by the power of the Holy Spirit become Christ witnesses in the world, spreading and defending the faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now I will sprinkle you with the holy water. Okay? Then when you when you receive the holy water, you will make the sign of the cross. Okay? So just think you are just taking shower, okay? <laughs> there we go. Okay, God bless you. Please join us in singing our sending forth hymn, Tell the World of His Love. Come up to the front for a group picture. 
Our lecturers come up to the front for a group picture.